Okay, back to solving. So now we're solving but with fractions. So um, we either need a common denominator or if it's a single fraction equals a single fraction, you can cross multiply. So we can cross multiply on this one. So 7x plus 2 equals 5x plus 6. So 7x plus 14 equals 5x plus 30. And I always like to start with moving my smallest x first. So minus 5x minus 5x. I get 2x plus 14 equals 30. Minus 14 minus 14. 2x equals 16. Second guess on our math skills, y'all. Uh, 30 minus 14 equals 16. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals 8. Now, you do have to pay attention on these to what your denominator cannot be. Um, so domain x cannot equal, well, this would be negative 2 because that's what would cancel that, and this would be negative 6 because that's what would cancel that, um, which is not those, so this can be your answer. So same concept on this one. Um, x cannot equal, because of your domain, um, negative 3 or positive 3, because what would cancel a positive 3 would be a negative 3. What would cancel a negative 3 would be a positive 3. So we know that x cannot equal negative 3 or positive 3. So knowing that, we're going to cross multiply. 4 x plus 3 equals, well, 1 times anything is just itself. So 4x plus 12 equals x minus 3, minus x minus x. x equals negative 15 divided by 3 divided by 3 negative 15 x equals negative 5 which is allowed so there's my answer